to make hash browns. And then, this is kind of special for me. I'm having bacon this morning, and then in a little bit, I'll put on some uh, eggs for Gwen. So, uh, Saturday morning, we're just doing a big celebratory breakfast to get ready for the weekend. A little trick for these potatoes, last night when I shredded them, then I put them in a bowl of uh, cold water with a bunch of salt and just put them in the fridge and then I drained them this morning and squeezed all the water out of them. So just saves a lot of time in the morning and uh, then they'll cook up right away. This morning Pat made some homemade hash browns. <clears throat> then I had some fried eggs, some bacon, some fruit, some orange juice. <gasps> Yay, that's the dump truck. Do you know what else the dump truck does? It goes beep, beep, beep. All right, so it's like 8.20 and we're leaving in 25 minutes. Uh, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm just kind of prepping a bunch of the longer steps so when I get home for lunch, I can just start cooking it right away. So I'm just hollowing out some eggplants right now. We're gonna do stuffed eggplant uh, for Gwen, uh, for well, and for me, for lunch. So this is kind of one of our favorites, but I'm gonna come along for the run. I will probably be back at, you know, I don't know, 10.30, 11, so I'll have a half hour to cook this up and I'll prep some onions. I've actually already, I'm cooking the rice right now and then that'll just get set aside. And uh, yeah, just makes it a little bit easier to take a little bit of time on the front end and you save a bunch uh, once you get home. Yeah, Gwen's got Stan in the bath and I'm just gonna continue to prep lunch here. So I got some ground beef, just peeling some carrots. I've got my eggplant already prepped. Um, onions are on, I'm gonna do mushroom. I'll chop up a whole head of kale. That'll go in there and yeah, we'll, we'll be set. I mean, we're back from the run, it's 11.15 and lunch will be on the table at, uh, at noon. Gotta wash that hair stand because yesterday we gave you a faux hawk. All right, so I'm just working on this little cheese bun here. I got probably go oh, a third of a cup of uh, quarter of a cup of Parmesan, third of a cup of uh, just like a cheddar blend from this morning. And so what I'll do is at the very last minute, I'll uh, got a cup of rice in here. I probably maybe I'll only use about half of this. This looks like a bit much. Maybe maybe two thirds, and I'll just put that into my blend there. So again, I've got kale, mushroom, the inside of the eggplants, carrots, onions, uh, mushrooms, and a can of marinara sauce. Coat them in cheese. You know, again, half, maybe half, quarter teaspoon of uh, red pepper flakes. All right, let's see how they look. What? All right. Lunch is ready. They're big and hot. Woo, woo. What do you think of lunch, Stan? What do you think of the rice? Right? Milk was my favorite. Is that your dessert? Oh. <laughs> was it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So this is, we're doing salad. We got we got sweet potatoes and some steak ready to go. But this salad is so easy. It's just a mixed mixed lettuce uh, box that I do. You just pull out however much you want. And then same thing, I just did a bunch of grape tomatoes. I've got pecans that I toasted in there. And for some reason, you got to be really careful and do those on a low heat when you toast them because they burn so easily. One green apple, a third of a red onion, maybe a quarter of a red onion. And then I uh, did a bunch of grape tomatoes. I've got uh, blue cheese. You could use gorgonzola in there. And then it's just oil and vinegar and just, 
in a thing, in a bowl, just for however much you serve. Typically, you know, we do a pretty big salad and uh, that would serve, I bet, four people normally, but Gwen and I usually can take it down. <laughs> so I've had a pretty good day. I finished it off with a massage and a second run. It was pretty slow today. Um, I had to go solo. Normally I'm running with the group, but I went solo for the run because I had my massage um, at an odd time. So then I just went up to Lake Mary and ran there for an easy, quick uh, couple miles. It's almost 9,000 feet up there. Yeah, good boy! Um, so it's pretty high. Um, took that pretty easy, came down. Uh, Pat made dinner, so I'm just finishing the night with a uh, salad. I'm going to have some sweet potato and steak and call it a night. Go to bed pretty early.